Half a day and throw. It's the time again. It's the time again of the year that we will put the ashes on our forehead and begin the 40 days of Lent. On this Ash Wednesday, many devoted Catholics and Christians flock to church to receive ashes on their forehead. But receiving the ashes in, is not something magical that it will automatically change the way we do things in our lives. It's not about showing that we have ashes on our forehead. It's more than that. And it's going to take a lot of works and sacrifices. When we receive the ashes, it's a great reminder to all of us that we are sinners. We acknowledge our sinfulness and we want to make to changes to better ourselves. It's the time again of the year that we receive those ashes on our forehead and begin our fasting for the duration of 40 days. Many of us perhaps thinking of what should we give up for this Lent. Most popular one is giving up on our favorite food. It's okay to give up our favorite food because it will help us with our health. But it doesn't have to be only food. Here are some suggestions that may help us for this land. Give up on pride. Give up on jealousy. Give up judging others. Give up gossiping. Quit fighting on the Facebook. Give up harboring those old grudges or picking at old wounds. Go to Sunday Masses if we have not done it in a long time. It's not too late. Perhaps frequent the Blessed Sacrament. In a nutshell, the imposition of the ashes on our forehead reminds us that we need to make all the changes in our lives to be better Christians and be closer to God. So what is ash? A is to allow God into our lives. Spend time in prayer. Praying is for us to be in communion with the Lord. Perhaps we can spend time to be with the Lord at the Blessed Sacrament. Praying rosaries. Maybe participate praying the Station of the Cross. Allow some time to read the Word of God. Go to Mass more frequent than usual. When we pray, let us not just pray for ourselves, but to pray for others as well. When we pray, we grow more closer to God. S, share the resources that we have to those that do not have any. Share our time with those that are alone and feeling lonely. Sharing of our blessings to those in need, our blessings will be abundant in return and makes us closer to God. And age is for hunger. To receive the fullness of God, we must totally empty ourselves and allow God to fill us. Fast not only for the food that we love to eat, but also from the things that draws us farther away from the Lord. Our love for God motivates us more through fasting and it moves us closer to God to others, and to ourselves. So my friends, Lent is time for us to grow closer to God. It's the time again that we make those changes in our lives, transform ourselves, turn away from our sins, not only for the Lent season, but for the rest of our lives. As we begin our journey this Lenten season, let us ask the Lord to help us to overcome the struggles in our lives and to transform us to become a better person through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Amen.